Welcome back to the challenge. It's week six and this week's challenge is fairly simple. I want you to answer the question, at what age will you give your child access to their own social media or online video gaming? What's the age you'll let them open an account? Do you have an age in mind? If you do, say that age, say it out loud. Is it 12, 13, 16 years old? Majority of social media apps will allow children to create an account if they are at least 13 years old. Why 13, you ask? Well, according to a law written in the United States in 1998 called the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, it prohibited tech companies from tracking online data and personal information of individuals under the age of 13. Currently, the US Surgeon General thinks 13 is too early to legally allow access to social media. Yet there isn't a consensus on what age is the healthiest age to start scrolling, posting, and interacting on social media. And some parents take the age of 13 as a recommendation and therefore allow their child to open social media accounts prior to this birthday. I'm Kathleen and I make videos for parents on how to have the modern day sex talks. Now, I started to post myself publicly online in 2020. Before that, for me, social media was just fun and, and basically a way to keep in contact with friends and family abroad. Once I began to post for educational purposes and promoting my videos and content to motivate you to have the sex talks, it was difficult at times for me to not equate my own self-worth to that of a video receiving no likes. It was hard at times to stay focused and motivated when I had people online saying rude and unkind things towards me. And sometimes I just felt shitty trying to create content that nobody was watching. This was hard for me as an adult with a fully formed prefrontal cortex. I've experienced the ups and downs and the highs and lows of what it's like to put your life on public social media. And I don't know if I can fully prepare my child for that emotional and mental roller coaster by 13 years old. Luckily, I have some time before my kid reaches that age, so I dove into researching the impacts of early social media use on children, and I'm gonna share with you what I found and how I'm going to apply it to preparing my kid for going online. A research study out of the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill found that middle school students became increasingly more aware and sensitive to social cues, like likes and comments, and that their behaviors towards checking social media showed brain activity that eventually could become compulsive and problematic. In another research study, 9 and 10 year olds who spent hours per day watching algorithm based videos like on YouTube or played video games online had a higher risk of developing obsessive compulsive disorders. We know that the brain isn't fully developed until the mid 20s, yet in the majority of countries you're considered a legal adult at the age of 18. That's a solid 6 to 8 years before the brain is fully developed. And when it comes to participating online, the current guidance isn't for developing mentally and socially healthy children. And as parents, we need to take that into consideration as we decide when it's time to allow access to social media. Many parents are allowing access to online video gaming or social media apps before the age of 13 or by the age of 13. Now this isn't because they want their child to be on social media, but it may be because they haven't been effectively advised otherwise. Many parents will say, I don't want my child to feel left out or I don't want them to go behind my back and have a secret account. So they'll devise a plan that allows their child to go online. They'll set up the account, make it private, and then friend or follow their child. Then they'll try and do everything that shields their child from the downsides and potholes that are scattered throughout these social apps. And that leads us to this. Within one hour of my 13 year old setting up her first social media account, she received two messages in her DMs from grownups saying that her profile pic looked cute and that she looks mature for her age. Oh, good grief. What is this world coming to? What'd you do? What'd you say to your kid? Oh, I immediately deleted her account and I said, we'll revisit going onto social media in a few years. Clearly it's too early. A complete ban at 13 years old is not something I would recommend because you're losing valuable time to inform, educate, and use teachable moments like this one. Oh, I told my kid that nobody will message you to say you're cute at 13 years old. That person's sick and you're a child. The tone here does not provide any guidance or support and actually belittles them for no reason. After taking a deep breath, I said, this is an opportunity to apply what we've been talking about for years. What is the true meaning of this message, which is from a person that you don't know? 
Educate your child that some people will specifically target children and aim to build an emotional connection with them in order to manipulate them into doing something, sending something, or sexually abusing them. In that short, I said that banning social media at 13 years old is not something I'd recommend. So how do we as parents begin to prepare our child to use social media when they're legally allowed to? I looked at a lot of information from nonprofits, government agencies, and experts in the field around what they recommend for parents to do in order to prepare their child for an online presence. I've boiled it down to five main points and here's my take on each one. If you're finding my content to be helpful, please go on and give this video a like or support me with a coffee. I would greatly appreciate it and I'll make a short thanking you. You know as well as I do that there is a lot of sex on the internet. Whether it's explicit or implicit, your child will need guidance on what they need to do if they come across sexual content. Majority of kids work well with clear instructions and knowing what to expect. They genuinely don't want to get in trouble. And if you're not clear with them that they will not be in trouble if they come across sexual content, they may not be transparent with you. Let them know that your aim is to help them learn how to navigate searching online, being present online, and keeping them safe online, as well as in real life. If you're not ready to explain to them what is porn and why it exists, then they're most definitely not ready for accessing their own social media accounts. Because their account will give them access to sex education, channels like mine, or to sexually implicit entertainment, or to potentially sexual abusive materials, aka revenge content, or to the accounts of sex workers whose aim is to promote their work in order to earn an income. And then they will learn what is porn and what is sex work from scrolling social media and not from you. If you need help on how and when to have the porn talk, check out this playlist. Have you scrolled through your social media profiles with your child? Have you shown them what you post or have reposted and explained why you posted it? Do you like or comment on others posts and share with your child why you made that comment or why you liked it? Do you feel comfortable having your child read what's on your profile or watching your stories? Are you modeling appropriate online behavior? If you would not allow your child to view your full profile on all your social media accounts, explain why to yourself. Then figure out what you would need to do in order to feel fully comfortable with your child viewing your socials. Then go through every post on your social media accounts with your child. Explain why you posted it in the first place. Answer their questions and then have an honest dialogue with your child about why you post, like, and comment what you do. So when do you plan to do this with your child? When do you plan to share your online accounts and your online behaviors with your child? Or do you plan to wait for them to friend you or follow you to see your online activity? It's not enough just to say, be kind online. You've probably had conversations about what is considered appropriate behavior at school and on the playground. You've probably discussed expressing empathy for friends, teammates, and others in the community. You've probably talked about how words can have an impact on others and what they can do if they see a child being verbally unkind to another child. And you've probably explained what bullying means and what it can look like in real life. Now, all of these conversations have to occur again, clearly and directly with your child in the context of online social media and activity. But go through different types of scenarios and talk about the nonverbal communication that occurs when you're simply just reading someone's words instead of hearing them say it and observing their body language at the same time. So with that in mind, at what age do you plan to analyze online social behavior with your child? If you've had these three previous talks, you're now probably ready to go through privacy settings and talk about how private something is on the internet. Are you willing to join new social media platforms with your child? Are you willing to take the time to set up their account and even your own account together? While doing so, are you talking about the permanence of the internet and what it means to create a digital footprint? Are you sharing news stories with them of people who've made mistakes online and how it affected their livelihoods? Setting up an account doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to post online, but it does begin to create their online presence as they begin interacting by commenting and liking other posts. So what age do you plan to have this conversation? And I would assume that this conversation is happening at the earliest 13 years of age because that is when tech companies are legally allowed to start tracking individual data. Taking a moment before posting can be helpful to a child with a developing brain. Have them ask themselves these questions. Am I aiming to inform or educate others through this post? 
Does this post use foul language, slurs, or derogatory words that could be hurtful to others? What do I hope will happen by posting this? Will I be happy with my mom, teacher, or coach viewing this post? If I receive a low amount of likes or comments on this post, will I be upset or feel worthless? Take your time to ask yourself these questions when you're making a post. Make it a habit and it will help your child to do the same. Okay, so with all that food for thought, let's go over this week's challenge. What age will you give your child access to their own social media or online video gaming? It's a pretty straightforward question and it's easy to say when their friends start going online or when they ask to join a specific app or when it's legal for them. But the real challenge here is, are you prepared to get them ready to be online? So that's your challenge this week. Over the next seven days, figure out when you plan to allow your child to access online video gaming or social media. And then work out at what age do you plan to go over with them what we've covered here today. I'm Kathleen and I'll be back next week with the next challenge. In the meantime, check out some of my shorts.